You owe it to yourself to go see Dr. Sharp. The guy is uh, smooth, he's good, he's an excellent surgeon. Dr. Sharp is one of the most capable and qualified surgeons I've ever met. He's phenomenal. Dr. Kipling Sharp is a board-certified, fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeon with Mizona Orthopedic, a division of Ortho Arizona. And there are many reasons why he's phenomenal in his field. First, you'll notice his personality. Dr. Sharp's friendly demeanor puts all of his patients, no matter their age, at ease. He has an amazing rapport with the children. Uh, they go to him to ask homework questions. They go to him to ask knee questions, shoulder, Parents that have problems will tell their kid, ask them what to do about my back. <laughs> so he has a very approachable demeanor. I knew that I had hip issues, but I didn't know how bad it was. I, I assumed that it was muscular and not structural. Uh, and when I found out that it was structural and how bad they really were, I realized, oh my God, I got to get them replaced now. And I had a little bit of apprehension, but uh, he made me feel comfortable that it wasn't, you know, that with my activity level that it would be a fairly easy transition. I like people and I like interacting with them. I don't just like their shoulder, I don't just like their hip, I don't, you know, or the knee, you know. I like them. And I like knowing how they're doing and, and I like getting them better. I mean, to me, that's the ultimate reward is when they get back to a lifestyle that's uh, enjoyable to them. The 14-year-old uh, gets injured uh, playing football and the next thing I know I'm seeing uh, mom or dad for a sore shoulder and then grandma or grandpa for a bad knee and, and that's fun. To, to have, I have families that I take care of and I like that. Phenomenal also describes his surgical technique on knees, shoulders and hips. Other doctors often seek out Dr. Sharp when they need a joint replacement. He was extremely thorough, very friendly, you know, partially because of my background, um, we could speak the same language and uh, you know, it was just very thorough and, and straightforward. The care in the hospital as well as Dr. Sharp's care and follow-up were by a yeah, intelligent consumer was <laughs> top-notch. And soon-to-be doctors gravitate towards Dr. Sharp as well. He spends a lot of time mentoring medical students. He's trying to give back, trying to teach these upcoming uh, medical providers and give that experience and knowledge that he has with them. And there's not a lot of surgeons that are willing to do that. Dr. Sharp also spends many hours with athletes. Since 1995, he's been a consultant to the Chicago Cubs, and he's also a team doctor for a local swim club, Mesa Aquatics. Dr. Sharp has done extensive work with swimmers over the years, including Lindsay, a former Olympic trial qualifier. I came back this summer and I swam just as fast as I swam in college post-surgery one year. I have to give a lot of that credit to Dr. Sharp because he's the one that kept me on the tight regimen, but it also speaks greatly to the person who comes back. Like, what, what are you gonna do? You're gonna stand up? And Dr. Sharp's not gonna let you fall down. And if you don't need surgery, he won't talk you into surgery. He believes in strengthening muscle imbalances, doing anything you can so you don't actually have to go under the knife unless it's something that just won't heal on its own. You know, they come to see me because they can't do whatever it is. You know, they can't swim, they can't golf, they can't play tennis, they can't do something that makes life important to them. And seeing them get back to that, you know, even if it's just taking a walk with their spouse. So whether you're an injured athlete or just someone looking to return to a pain-free lifestyle, Dr. Kipling Sharp is the answer. My back got better, my hips got better, I walked better, I'm upright, and I'm a different person after the surgery, and I highly recommend it. Whatever it is they can't do that I can get them back to, whatever stage in life they're at, you know, I got a broken bone and I can't, you know, I can't walk at all, and, you know, to see that heal, and that's the reward for me at the end of the day, is, is taking them from I can't to I can.